Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 4, lesson 4, we're on page 271. This is going to be adjusting quotients. So adjusting quotients is when you just kind of try numbers to see if they work. And that's exactly what we're going to do, and I'll explain that. During lunch, there were 144 students in the cafeteria. The cafeteria had a total of 16 tables. How many students could sit at each table? So we have 144. We're going to divide that among 16 tables. So we're going to estimate by using compatible numbers. If we have 144, you can change that to 140. And then 16 is going to change to 20. So 140 divided by 20 is going to equal 7. So now that we're going to, now that we did the estimate, now we're going to try using the estimate in the regular answer. So six, so we have 144 divided by 16, 16 cannot go into 14. And that's why we're moving over to the last digit, the ones place. So 16 goes into 144. We don't really know how many times. So that's why we're going to use the estimate of seven. And then we want to say, so we're, so divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. So seven times 16, I'm going to do that rule. So it's going to be 42, 112. If you look here, that's two, that's 30. So 32 is greater than 16. So since 32 is greater than 16, that means this number right here is too low. Because this number should always be lower than the divisor. It has to be lower than the divisor. And that's after we subtract. That This number always has to be lower than the divisor. So we're going to adjust the quotient. So instead of 7, now we're going to try 8. So 8 times 16 is going to be 48, 128. So we're going to borrow. It's going to be 6, 1. So 16 is still not lower than the quotient. So we're going to uh, we're going to adjust again. So instead of 16, we're going to do the maximum number is going to be 9. So 9 times 16 is 54 equals 144. So now we subtract that equals 0. We can no longer bring down, so that's going to be our final answer of 9. So that equals 9. S equals 9. So nine students consider each table. And check for reasonableness. Reasonableness, nine is close to seven. So that's what it is to adjust the quotient is we tried a number and it was too it was too small. But this is the most important step. The number has to be lower than the divisor every time. So we're going to move on with example two, 1,252 divided by 32. This is estimate by using compatible numbers. So we use 1,200 divided by 30. If I use the shortcut, 120 divided by 3 is going to be 40. So we're going to try the estimate. We're going to say 32 can't go into 12. So we have to go to 125. So we know this is 40. So we're going to try 4 here. We're going to say it goes in there 4 times. So we have 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, so since 128 is, is larger than 125, that means our quotient is too big. So now we're going to try a different one. So since 4 is too big, we're going to go 1 lower and try 3. So 32 goes into 125. We're going to say 3 times. So if we multiply 3, it's going to be 6 and then 9. We're going to, we're going to be doing lots of borrowing. So 15 minus 6 equals 9. And then that's going to be 0. 11 minus 9 equals 2. So now we have... 29. So we can go ahead and continue dividing. 
So I'm just going to put the same steps here, 292, and then we're going to bring that down. So divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. So since we already divided in step three, so step four, we have 292. So how many times does 32 go into 292? Well, we just kind of have to adjust. I know three goes to 29, always like taking place values away. Three goes into 29 nine times. So I'm gonna say 32 might go into 20, 292 nine times. And if I'm wrong, it's okay, we'll just adjust. So we'll multiply, nine times two is 18. 9 times 3 is 27, so 28. So I get, oh, perfect. 288 is was the answer. So 9 nine's correct. We're going to have to borrow. It's going to become an 8. It's going to become a 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. 8 minus 8 is 0, 0. So now we can no longer bring down, so we go to a remainder of 4. So we have 39 remainder 4. And check for reasonableness. 39 remainder 4 is close to 40. So that will be our final answer for our quotient. So here's the guided practice. This is Sarah divided 306 by 34 and got a quotient of 8. Remainder 34, explain and correct her error. So go ahead and, and do that. And I'll get back with you. So I'm curious to see what you guys got. The main thing I see is the remainder 34. So the remainder, the remainder needs to be lower than the divisor. So I'm going to show you guys right over here. So we have 306 divided by 34. Since they said 8, remainder 34, I'm actually going to try 9. Because 34 for remainder is too big. So we're going to multiply that by 9. So 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 3 is 27. Plus 3 is 30. So it's going to be 306, and now I have 0 here. So 9 times 34 is 306, subtracts is 0, and I can no longer bring down, so this is my final answer. The quotient is 9. So you may be wondering, do you have to adjust every single problem? The answer is no. You want to try to get your division correct, but this is just a method that helps with dividing. So if you know, so I'm gonna actually do number two with you guys, because this is kind of a lot. So we have 53 as our divisor, and 1,272. So 53 cannot go into 12, so 53 does go into 127. I'm going to say that's going to go in twice. I'm just kind of using a number. 2 goes into 53, or I'm sorry, 2 times 53 is going to be 106. We subtract, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. We subtract, it's going to be 1, 2, 21. 21 is lower than 53, so that means I'm headed the right direction. 53 and then 212, I'm going to say 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 50 is 200, so I know it's going to be 212. I can no longer bring down, so it's going to be a remainder, so I get the final answer of 24. So I just wanted to show you guys an example that I didn't need to adjust if I'm already correct. But you guys have the rest of the problems, so go ahead and keep working. Thank you for watching.